is a unique prophet. He's exceptional. He's quite different from other prophets I've ever seen in my country, Nigeria. Oh, it's really hard for me to do this video, but I have to do it. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Naya Chika. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in UK. Uh, see, lovely, today's video is really, really hard for me to do. I didn't even know that you will see someone today and next tomorrow you will not see that person. I didn't even know that someone you see today, tomorrow they will say that that person is no more. I find it very difficult to believe that. I was just saying, let me not do this video. Let me just wait a little. Let me know if that is a rumor. I want to know if it's just um, fake news or something like that that is going around the world. But I don't know that it's true. Since I had the death of Prophet T.B. Joshua, I've not been myself since then. This is the only prophet that my husband always listens to his preaching. He always watches his Sunday services. He always watches his program. He adores this man. The day I heard this news, I've not been myself. I'm telling you. I was just thinking, what is this world all about? That means we are here for something. Oh, we are not going to live here in eternity. The day I had this news, I was just saying, let me just sleep and wake up. I know that when I sleep and wake up, there will be a good news. But since then, it's been five to six days now. And they are still saying the same thing. <laughs> Life is nothing. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Now I know the reason why Ifani sang this song. Onye horotai gaga hiechi. Chine keme obutu wadi. Chine keme obutu wadi. Onye horotai mani gaga hiechi. Chine keme obutu wadi. Life is nothing. This prophet is the only prophet I know in Nigeria that is a dangerous giver. He makes sure that he feeds the poor, the widows. He makes sure that all the children go to school. But upon this thing, he did not even open any school on his name. Not even private school, not even boarding school. No private hospital, nothing for himself. He literally worked for God. Upon that, he was hated in his own country because he chose to do things his own way. He did not follow the crowd, but he separated himself out of the crowd. He believed in doing things the way God called him to do it. But upon that, even in his death, some people are still holding that grudges in their mind. Now I know the problem we have in our country. It's not from government. It's from the churches. You will see now that he's dead, you will see a lot of people bringing out his background, trying to dig out so many things about him. Why don't you come and say it when he was alive? This life is nothing. Let the dead rest. Is the prophet of our time good hearted, a cheerful giver, a kind man? He's so generous. He always puts smiles in families, in marriages. He only think of others, not himself. Even in debt, some churches cannot even have one minute silence for him. Don't hate somebody because of what you hear from others. A lot of criticisms are coming out because he's dead. 
Do you have your personal encounter? Do you have your personal experience with him? Talk what you know about him, not what they say, they say, they say. Stop judging. Because us, everybody in this world must surely go. But the one thing is that we don't know the time. All we are praying is that we have a long life. One thing I am telling you is to love somebody. Adore people. Celebrate them why they are still living life is nothing we are all here for something keep sleeping god knows the best you have done a lot for a lot of people more than our government during the coronavirus you have done a lot of things for the youth for the women for the children for the whole nation a lot of people troop into nigeria just in your name alone. They wish they can do something to bring you back to life. But keep sleeping. We lose a whole lot. But I know that heaven gains. Even if it's a bad person, let the dead rest. Yes. Because so many mothers out there have benefited from this man. Come and see tears. If only tears can bring this man back, you will see that women will do that to show you how cheerful giver the man is. He gives anything he has, he gives. You are really a prophet, a good prophet, a great one at that. It's not all about being a prophet, but there is something that makes you unique. Keep sleeping, prophet T.B. Joshua. Always have in mind that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. Love you and bye-bye.